I just want to shoot from the hip. Okay? I want to shoot from the fucking hip because, well, you know, who's going to watch it, right? You know, people come to my channel for, you know, a certain type of content. And I've done different things, but, well, no, people just don't show up. So, you know, that being said, you know, it allows me a bit of freedom. And YouTube is shadow banning me to hell. I can't get any traction. And I usually... I usually get like, uh, what, 10 or so subscribers a week when they're not interfering or whatnot. So they're interfering. They're marking my videos with no views, even though I can see the views, okay? I just want you people to know that shit. And it's one of the reasons I'm going to make this raw-ass reaction and commentary to something that's far away from me as another planet and shit. But, uh, I'm going to comment on the, the current proxy war with Disney, within Disney, okay, so there's uh, half of Disney's uh, shareholders are fighting with the other half because of all the money they lost, they lost uh, damn near a trillion dollars, you know, don't, don't quote me on that, they lost a shitload of money on shitty projects, okay, it's fucking Walt Disney Company, I owned a significant amount of stock for me, you know, in my ethnic group, I had a, a significant amount of stock that I don't have today because of, you know, life situations. And, you know, I think about this shit, right? But, like, I'm thinking about it as a creative, okay? I'm creative and shit, all right? Now, and what you see here is a picture of fucking George Lucas. And the lady, if you don't know who that is, that is uh, Kathleen Kennedy, all right? Kathleen Kennedy, she's in charge of the Star Wars shit, you know, today. Right, and we all know it's garbage. They they recently released a trailer called The Alkaline and it just looked like garbage and you know, I was made aware that uh it's being framed as some kind of lesbian revenge story and shit. And I'm just like, What the fuck is the world coming to? What's why can't we get decent entertainment? I'm a fucking straight black man and shit. I wanna I heal conservative. Okay? I wanna just have a a regular family and have entertainment and bullshit and I can't even get that. America can't even do its job on a basic level anymore or not. They want to ham fist all this uh, diversity, equity, inclusion and it's all bullshit, okay? So like a lot of, you know, I'm pissed off because a lot of white uh, guys are like making these videos talking about, you know, DEI and all this shit and they always show pictures of black people for the most part and shit and they don't really talk about the fact that it's white people fucking with other white people and they use them, you know, us as human shields. They're using us as, you know, uh, their masks for their bullshit agenda, okay? Now talk about the uh, alternative community bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I'm black. I'm black, goddammit. I'm telling you, I'm pissed off and shit. And, and that's why I have this picture up here. Okay, so you can see George Lucas monkey ass. You can see his ass, right? Uh, they, they, you know, he fucked up back in the day. He made Star Wars and a bunch of other shit. I recognize him as a creative innovator. He is the, him, him and Steven Spielberg are the reason you have all this summer movie bullshit. Okay, all these, some big movies and all this shit came from him and Spielberg exclusively. Okay? Exclusively coming out of a, you know, a bad time in the in the seventies where the uh, black exploitation movies saved the movie industry and shit for the most part when it was in the toilet and it's going into the toilet again because of feminism. All right, now you look at this goddamn picture, of Kathleen Kennedy. She ain't no fucking looker, okay? She is no fucking looker because supposedly she got a job with him by writing him some some uh, fan letters or something. He gave her a job and shit. And, and, Today she's a billionaire. She's in the business of destroying his legacy, right? And I don't give a fuck because he don't give a fuck. They gave him a shitload of stock options and money. So he sold that shit for four billion dollars. He sold that shit for four billion dollars. Okay, it's his shit. Okay, it's his shit. He can sell it, do what he wants with it. But like they've been making shit movies and just doing all this crap, and it just makes you hate. It makes you hate the goddamn system and shit. You know, Hollywood. It makes you hate them. Okay, because it reminds me of my, you know, ethnic community and shit, like how Gloria Steinem came into that bitch and she started talking to some dumb ass single black single mothers and some other, you know, what behind the ears females and shit. And it got us all fucked up today. All right. It's always some white face hiding behind a black face doing some shit. Okay. Black people don't run those studios, don't own shit. 
but you won't see a proliferation of black women. It looks pretty much basically the same as like two or three uh, default looks and shit. And you'll see that it's presented as DEI and, you know, gay shit and all that crap. But it's really white people fucking with other white people. And, and you know, I'm pissed off with it right now because, you know, the people, there's, a, you know, that proxy war. They were trying to just fix the shit so that, you know, they made entertainment, you know. I don't care about the family shit so much. I just care about, like, they own all the shit I grew up with. Like, the, the comic books that I read, they own that shit. You know, the fucking TV that I watch, they own that shit. The movies that I like. You know, my cultural touchstones and shit, my creative co- touchstones, and I don't care what no cool black or anybody else has to say about it. It informs my being. And that's an indictment on my own fucking environment and shit that... You know, you have to go outside of it. There's nothing sustaining in it, and it's a parody if it, uh, if it adheres to what I do. All right? But yeah, yeah, George Lucas, he, he made this thing, THX uh, movie and shit, you know, I'm not really into that. He made American Graffiti, I liked watching that. It was a TV hit growing up because my parents was in the middle of the fucking me generation and doing damn this shit, and I was a latchkey kid, and I was watching this shit, okay? And I don't have a problem with that. That, that was my opinion. But yeah, I go watch all the, the, the George Lucas shit, the Star Wars stuff. And I remember that it took like two to two two to four years to make a Star Wars movie. And they have these specials on the TV. And somehow they would, the shit would still feel like magic when it came out. But, you know, it was like they were wizards making the shit, okay? And I was interested. And I wanted to be a part of that world. Okay? But like, you see, if you can see this picture, you see George Lucas as he is today. Uh, you know, kind of, you know, a shell of himself. And it wasn't no great shapes back in the day and shit as far as filming. All the best things in the Star Wars canon were done by other directors. Right? He just provided the backup and the engine for that shit. He built a company and shit because Fox was stupid and didn't believe in his vision and shit. And he, he gave him a whoop that trick moment and shit. When he partnered with that, and when he got the uh, license and agreements for toys based on that shit, he became a billion. You know, and, and ever since that happened, you had these studios micromanaging every goddamn thing. You know, and, and, and you know, here's this female, a white female, Kathleen Kennedy. She works in the fan letter. She's no great shakes. Look at this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you know, there's a reason I'm showing you this goddamn picture. Because, you know, I'm mad about all this Star Wars shit and this bullshit and uh, this diversity, equity, inclusion that is nothing of the sort. Okay, it has nothing to do with any black people, anybody, representation, anything. It's some goddamn, uh, you know, a sheltered princess in a bubble, some sheltered feminist prince, princess with her head up her ass, huffing her own farts, uh, and, and using black people as her proxies that she don't give a fuck about. Okay, I'm tired of listening to other commentaries about shit related to this, and they, they always talk about, like, Oh, we're sticking up for the black peoples and shit. And they goes to black people too. They did this shit. And they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. I know my field of expertise and I know when I'm looking at shit. And I want to say that to George Lucas, man, you know, he supported the people that stole his dream and fucked it all up. Even though he was doing the same, he was banging his own, you know, accomplishments. He was regurgitating his own creative shit before he sold it and shit. But he, he supported them in this proxy battle to keep things the way they are for the last fucking five or whatever long this shit has been since the Avengers Endgame. You know, we're five years or so, or ten years almost for this one and only bullshit and, you know, this feminist shit and everything's a woman now and they gotta make everything gay and all this bullshit. And I know it's a meme. But, like, I'm just saying, I'm looking at Kathleen Kennedy and, like, like she had nothing and he took this basic white female and he made her a billionaire and gave her a career. Everything she ever had came from this motherfucker and she's in the process of destroying it. All right? And it tells you about the nature of goddamn women and shit. Now, I know how this sounds, but look at the shit that they do. They can't create anything on their own. They can't create anything that sustains itself. There's no feminist projects and shit. Even Wonder Woman was created by a fucking dude that was in the fucking bondage. And, and today you had the George Lucas like, co-signing this bullshit. And, I'm, and you know, I, I'm not here to excoriate him for that. He made his money. 
But what I am saying is, you know, the reason I have the picture of Kathleen Kennedy as she was, and I don't understand why she's in the process and the business of destroying this career after working with people like Steven Spielberg and her own fucking husband and this motherfucker right here and a bunch of other talented people and doing anything and she can't do a fucking thing right. Okay, she can't do a goddamn thing right with with a entire kingdom behind the tour. And it just makes you just... It, it, it makes you wonder, you know? It's just like, hey, George, you know, you're, you're up there in years. You, you got more money you ever need than you for the rest of your fucking life and your children and wherever else you want to, to leave that shit to, you know, unless you're going to take it all with you. You got more money than, than God and shit. And the same thing goes for Kathleen Kennedy and shit. I wish that they would get their shit out. They would hug it out or, you know, just get a room or whatever the fuck they need to do or maybe she needs to just come out of the closet and you know make an allegation say butt fucked or something I want to know why she did this okay we always want to know why the women did this shit and, and like I posit that you know to be truly save yourself black man and everything is not giving a fuck about them okay and living your best life and they come in as an accessory they work so hard feminism taught women that uh, everything was transactional with, you know, it was a business agreement and shit. And so, you know, if you take them at their word and shit, they are only an accessory or service or whatnot. And I feel like thinking of that shit. I just like, well, you know, when is she just going to come out of her bag and get her just shit it out? Okay, I want her to just shit it out and say, like, he did some, some malfeasance shit or something, but fucked up. So I don't care. I'm just tired of the shit. I'm tired of looking at it. I want entertainment. It's an art form. Okay? And I don't care about no pro blacks talking about this shit. I'm saying this and that and the other because, like, everything we do in our community is a parody of that shit, you know, creatively speaking and shit. No one gives a fuck. They just repurpose everything. They don't create anything fucking new. And the people that can't do that have no power. And they have to bend the knee if they want to work in the system or bend over. And sometimes they got to bend over and eat the groceries these days. And I ain't doing that shit, okay? But they're like, when I see Kathleen Kennedy, I get so fucking angry because uh, I wish she would just, you know, get it out of her system and she would just make her allegation. She already has her money in the money in a bank suitcase for many decades now. She's more wealthy than any woman. She's one of the wealthiest women out there, shit, in the industry. All right? And and she's hated for this. She's hated for what she's done to, to Star Wars and all this bullshit, you know? She's hated for that, and rightfully so. She was there when they were making the original shit. She didn't learn a fucking thing. Right? It's garbage. Everything she does is garbage. And anything that good that comes out of Lucas Studios is a is a creative accident. And, and you could just roll that shit up to George Lucas's fucking the front door, ring his doorbell, and leave it out there. Like when when people used to do this old prank where they would shit in a bag and you know light it on fire, put it on somebody's doorstep, light it on fire, and the motherfucker would come stomp on it and get a you know step in some shit. Okay, and that's that's what Star Wars is today. Right? I just want to get that shit out of my system. Okay? I want to get this shit out of my system. I'm tired of it. Nothing in in this fucking shithole country is what you think it is. Everything's a goddamn trick bag and shit. And I'm just so fucking tired of it. Using us as human shells for their agenda when it's a white people fucking with other white people. And, and everyone pays the price. You can't even have creature comforts in this, this fucking rig, rig system and shit. Okay? Right? And I'm just tired of listening to all these goddamn Star Wars videos and shit when I'm on downtime and shit. And trying to find entertainment and seeing a bullshit, you know, feel, feminist fuel bullshit that is just an override. It's just like if somebody, you have a, a sports car, you buy a, a sports car, and then you see some bitch come into your yard with, with, with a bucket full of paint and then throw it on the fucking car and shit, all on the windshield and the, 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 the uh, hood and shit, and then take out the spray can and just write them pussy on, on the windows and shit. That's what it's like. That's what it's like. Oh, this feminist bullshit. And, and the gay shit too, okay? And I don't give a fuck about that. You know, we, they came to our community. We accepted them and shit. Look how they turn around fuck us in the ass with this, uh, you know, homophobic and all this bullshit. When we came for these motherfuckers, we took care of them when the AIDS pandemic came in. All that bullshit. 
And look, we got every you got short fucking memories, and you don't want to acknowledge us, our people and shit. And then I can't even get no decent entertainment out of you motherfuckers. And it's supposed to be your job to do that. Go figure. Anyway, I'm done here. Fuck this. <laughs>